Hello and many thanks for joining me Elvis for yet another Somerset Red Air review. Um, rock on! I've got uh, metals. I've got uh, a beer from the Robinsons Brewery. This is their Trooper. This is brewed in collaboration with the Iron Maiden band, which to be honest if you don't know then really you should like have lived a bit more. Um, I'm interested to see what this tastes like, but to be fair, pardon me, I've had a few beers before. Um, I have seen a few reviews on this and they've said it was not that good, but um, to be fair, for the artwork alone, it was worth buying. I'll let you have a look at the bottle a moment before I dive into it. Maybe you can read what's written on there, maybe you can't. You never know with this camera, you really never know. Try and sort of read it. There's quite a lot of writing on there, and I don't really know what it says. Um, oh, there's a nice little on the neck of the bottle there as well. I mean, um, it's it's an English bitter. Well, that's what it says on the bottle. Um, premium British beer, uh, four point seven percent ABV, so it's, it's it's still sessionable for me. Uh, brown five hundred ml bottle. Let's crack it open. And there's a the crown gone. It's a Robinson's crown there. And as it's an English bitter, I shall pour it in an English bitter glass. And it's not bulk conditioned, so I don't have to be careful with it or anything. So I just chuck it all in there. Okay, my pour was terrible, but you get the idea. Um, there's a little bit left in the bottle. Well, well, it is completely clear because obviously it is not bottle conditioned. Two finger, sort of newspaper coloured head, loads and loads of carbonation, kind of toffee coloured, amberish. Let's see what it smells like. Actually smells okay. Um, I don't know what to expect from this beer. Like I said, I've never had it before so I don't know, you know what it's like but I've heard some bad things about it which is a shame because it might be quite good. Getting toffee notes in there, sort of caramel, not getting any hops through the head. Oh, slight zestiness now. Sort of a really sort of overripe orange. Sort of cereal, mainly malty. Malty. Malty is what I would explain, uh, 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 sort of describe this beer as the, the, the massively sort of undertone to it. Uh, malty. Right, let's dig in. Cheers, everyone. Slight metallic twang to it. Very, very over carbonated, foams up straight away in the mouth. Slight fruitiness, bit of malt, nice little bitter after finish. It's not bad, it's not hideous. Although it isn't the best beer I've ever had, I'll pile the rest in there. It's a nice bitter, but it's nothing to write home about. The Charge of the Light Brigade, which inspired the Iron Maiden song, The Trooper, took place at the Battle of Balaclava, 1854. During the Crimean War, when 600 British cavalry uh, courage courageously charged the massive Russian artillery, this gallant but foolhardy assault resulted in a massive loss of life and came uh, and came about due to a misunderstanding of an order given by uh, commanding the commanding officer Lord Raglan I am I've just realized I've had three points before this and I've just realized I'm actually slurring quite a lot um, true prisoners <laughs> a premium British beer inspired by Iron Maiden handcrafted at Robinson's brewery uh, being a re being a real ale enthusiast Vocalist Bruce Dickinson has developed a beer which uh, has true depth of character, um, malt flavours and citric notes from a unique 
blend of Bobek, Goldings and Cascade Hops. Uh, dominate this deep golden ale with a substitute, uh, subtle hint of lemon. To be fair, that description is completely perfect. Um, there is a subtle hint of lemon and it is, it's, it's mainly malty. But to be fair, it does just taste like a generic bitter. Um, it's okay. I would drink it again. I'm not going to pour this away or anything. Don't get me wrong. It's not horrible. It's a nice beer. But it's just another bitter. You know, it's just one of those beers. Um, I think this is mainly just blatantly sold to people who are Iron Maiden fans and think, oh, wow, yeah, an Iron Maiden beer. And they're not really, really enthusiasts. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it's sort of... So they like it. It's not going to be anything sort of exciting because they might think, oh God, no, I'm not drinking real ale again. You know, it might be the first. They might be lager drinkers and, uh, you know, they're, they're not going to drink real ale ever again. So it's just, they've not sort of pulled out all the stops. But like I say, it's all right. It's not right beer. I think I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. It's average. It's, it's not bad. It's not good. If it's on in the bar and then, you know, it's the only beer there, I'll drink it, you know, quite happily. Quite happily enjoy that. But it's it's not mind-blowing. It's not exciting. It's nothing that's going to blow you away. If you're sort of an enthusiast like me and you're sort of interested into interesting beers, then this is going to do nothing for you. But if you just like the old beer every now and again, then go for it. Yeah, it's not going to be bad. Um, Robinson's Trooper, brewed in collaboration with Iron Maiden. Give it a go. It's not bad. It was cheap. There you go. Thanks for watching me. Love to see your comments down there in the comments box. Hopefully you'll join me again soon for another review. Cheers everyone.